Hi, I'm Larry Chandonet, President of CBM Machinery. We're going to show you the Chira Plus 30 folder. It's a 11 gauge by 10 foot or 3 millimeter by 3 meter machine. We're going to first start out with the tooling. Tooling has uh, three basic uh, parts to it. There's a segment of folding blade tooling here, a segment of lower beam tooling, and then you have the copy beam, which is a straight rail here, and then you also have the box tooling here. The folding blade tooling is segmented, and all you do is lift up, and there's a detent that holds that in, and then you can snap it right in. Same with the lower beam. Sometimes you'll want both of them segmented because you have flanges going into each other and you want tight uh, corners. Within the program, all you do is hit the foot pedal. And you can see it rotates and locks in. The box joint is unique. Is you have a quarter turn here, take it off, and then you have right here a locking mechanism. If you can see, I'm turning it, and that totally positive locks that tool in, so there's no movement with it. Uh, the reason why you want this is when you're running from the rear or you're running a large panel, sometimes you'll spin the piece and you'll hit this tool. When you hit it, another machine it will tend to knock out forward, and then when you come up with a folding beam, you'll, you'll break your tool or damage it. With ours, you'll never have a problem with damage anything like that. Next, we're going to talk about the crowning feature. The crowning feature goes the full length of the folding beam. You can see the dials right here. Uh, when you're running 11 gauge uh, and you're using a you know, small width folding blade tooling, uh, you might want to have the full crown on it. Uh, when you're running you know, 22 gauge, you have the total crown out. Uh, that's just for the deflection of the, of the beam itself, but uh, you compensate for it. Uh, by the way, on the tooling, you get a uh, 0.787 inch wide for the 11 gauge, and then you have a 0.59 wide folding blade. You can get other widths too, just depending on your application. The foot pedal, uh, you can get uh, various configurations of it. Uh, the one we have that's up front, uh, it comes in a three position. You hit the foot pedal to come down. Okay. The middle one has the folding beam action, and then the right one has the upper beam come up. Uh, you also uh, can get a optional second foot pedal for rear operation, and you would have a selector switch to use. Uh, you can also get this on a rail, so that when the operator is running, he can just kick the foot pedal left to right if he's running at different stations here. Next area we're going to talk about is safety. Uh, CDAN has a firm belief in uh, the safety of the machine and is proud of what they have as far as features. Uh, of course, we have an emergency stop on the right side. We also have one on the left side. Okay. Uh, we also uh, have standard where you come down with the foot pedal when it comes to what's called a, uh, a pinch rule and you have to clamp again for it to clamp. Okay. You can also get an uh, electronic bumper here. So if the operator is uh, not paying attention and it hits them, it will automatically stop the machine. Uh, that's an option that some uh, customers have gotten. You can also uh, get a laser beam across there for extra safety. Uh, it just depends on the customer. The next feature we're going to talk about is the control. Uh, we use a ProLink control that we developed uh, about four years ago. We're very proud of the control. Uh, it's uh, the most intuitive uh, control on the market for folders uh, as of right now. And uh, uh, you can run it from the front or the rear. We'll get into another video showing the features of it. But you can see, you can rotate it all the way around, so you can actually work from the back. Another feature we'll talk about is back gauge. Uh, this uh, back gauge is a J-shaped back gauge. It's 125 inches on my right and 71 inches on the left. Uh, you can also get this in uh, rectangular. You can get it square, you can get L-shaped, and of course J-shaped like what we have. 
Uh, you can see I can work the control right here very easily. Um, and I can also push it out of the way if I'm not using it uh, during cycle machine. Uh, the back edge comes with uh, positioning of fingers that are numerically uh, pop up. And uh, those uh, fingers can position anywhere uh, from 0 to 125 inches in two seconds. Uh, we have a uh, ball casters on this machine. And most customers will get it if they're going to go with the L-shape or J-shape back edge. Uh, we just have the uh, ball casters up just high enough so it takes the friction off so you can move the panel around easily. But what you also do is uh, not have the panel move. I just got a small panel, 14 gauge. See, it stops, okay? Another feature that we have is the rails. Uh, they're about two millimeter, uh, 80 thousandths uh, lower than the actual pans of the back gauge. And the reason why is when you're spinning apart, you don't want to actually hit these parts of the rail because that would go out of line with that. Uh, other feature we have is a squaring arm on the uh, right side there. Uh, when you're doing very narrow parts, uh, it's better just to hit the squaring arm, hit the gauge, and get it ready to go, rather than trying to gauge it you know, one foot by 125 inches. It's hard to get that uh, one foot uh, to be parallel to the folding beam. But with the squaring arm, it's perfect. Now we're going to show you the uh, copy beam rotation from the rear. We have the sharp tool up front. We're going to go ahead and switch over to the box tool. And then the other feature is the back edge drop. Uh, it can drop 40 millimeters or 1.575 inches. Uh, that's nice for uh, flanges that are going in the opposite direction and we already have a flange on three sides going the other direction. Uh, we'll show that now. And I'll hit the foot pedal. You can see the free space in the rear, and then you can also see now I can gauge properly, and it'll be on the lower beam and the folding beam properly, and I'm hitting the gauge, and I'm not cheating it by having a triangle. And this is a nice feature to have, <coughs> so that you have crisp bends on the reverse direction. Now we're showing the guts of the machine. Uh, this is uh, facing the machine to the left side. Uh, this is actually the combi beam rotation. It's got a positive lock here and a positive lock here. So when we rotate it, you'll see that it clutch will hit and then it'll lock right in place. Uh, this is the motor for the combi beam. Uh, it's got a tensioner on it for the chain, so you never have to worry about that. Uh, this is the motor for the folding beam. And you'll see the rotation right here of just the uh, encoder. Uh, the other uh, item is the eccentric right here and you can see that and that's what gives it all the force we have the most clamping force uh, 27 metric tons 30 uh, uh, US tons of clamping pressure for our size capacity machine um, we do that with the eccentric we have a torsion shaft going all the way down and in that torsion shaft you got the another shaft that's hooked the centric to it, so you got a centric on both sides that is driving it down, and you get all your power in the last uh, last uh, quarter inch for Hemi. What I'll do now is I'll rotate the combi beam. You can see it locking in. Back, clutch hits, and then you. You're locked in. Now you can see the uh, upper beam movement. We give it, on, we use an O frame design and we give it uh, of 20 inches, uh, half a meter in length. Uh, that gives it a nice parallel guiding. Then you can see the actual eccentric. And when I hit the foot pedal again, 
see the centric's not moving a lot. And that's what gives it all our power. Now we'll talk about the uh, right side of the machine as, as you're facing it. You see the linear encoder here. You still see the whole frame design with the long linear guides. Uh, when I rotate it, you can still have the upper beam. Locks in on both sides like we did before on the other side. Uh, this is the motor for the uh, upper beam. This is the motor for the folding beam. And then over here, that's the sensor that is located on the eccentric. I'm going to move the eccentric again. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video of the uh, Futura Plus 30. Uh, you can contact us at CDAM Machinery or Peterson Machinery for more information.